I first got into strongman basically because I was a rugby player, started lifting weights to improve my rugby playing abilities and just found the transition was very natural for me. The first real thing that struck a chord in me that made me feel like this was something I really wanted to pursue was when I qualified for England's Strongest Man for the first time. From my first competition starting off, having not really done any strongman specific training, to being at World's Strongest Man for the first time took me about seven months. It gave me a lot of what I needed as a person, just challenging myself constantly and in a way that I felt like I could be successful. You're constantly testing yourself. People think that it's just this physical thing where you're just focusing on how strong you are, but it's also a mental test because your body feels broken a lot of the time. It's a nice thing to really challenge yourself in a really hard way. Even if it's just a small bit of success, you get so much satisfaction from it. If something just comes easy to you, then there's no real satisfaction to doing it. So many people train the stuff that they're good at. I think it's so much more important to train the things that you're not good at harder. It sounds like common sense, but so many people don't perhaps train the things that they're bad at. So the best bit about training for strongman is um, the variety. His sessions are so different all the time. You know, it's, it's enjoyable and it's cool to do and you're pulling trucks or lifting stones and testing yourself in different ways is always the enjoyable bit about strongman training. The flip side of strong man training, the bad bits are, you're in pain a lot of the time. It's something that you really have to learn to manage when you're competing a lot and when you're training really hard. With experience and as you move along, you find ways to make it work. For me, I probably get more excited by the Giants' lives these days. I mean, it's a big part of why I'm still involved in the sport because the progression has been massive in my career. And I'm not just talking about the ability of the guys, but the standard of the competitions has risen so much. It's really made it a positive place to be in. I've been very fortunate with having my wife Kate in my corner. She's always got my back at competitions. She's always cheering for me and she always wants the best for me. Having someone that understands your drive because they have it themselves is such a massive positive in trying to achieve what you're capable of. She's has really helped me sort of see Strongman in a different light and probably the reason I'm still competing now because she has helped me become a healthier person. I'm 40 years old and I'm, I'm still competing and I'm still healthy. And I think a big part of where Kate's had this massive positive influence on me that I've realized that you know if you look after your body, you can go on and do it for a longer period of time. I've really cleaned up my diet in terms of not just eating takeaways all the time. I try to be a lot more structured with my eating. I'm a lot more aware of that than I used to be. I think that's a big part of me prolonging my career, eating a healthy diet and trying to look after my body in every way I possibly can. My biggest achievement in Strongman, I would say my third place at World's Strongest Man in 2011. It proved that I was genuinely one of the best guys in the world, only losing to Brian Shaw and Zadruna Savic as two of the, the best of all time. Obviously in recent times, winning the Masters World's Strongest Man, I'm still proving that I'm very good and I'm, I am 40, I am a Masters competitor and I'm the world champion out of that. So is that something obviously to be very positive about? Being a world champion in anything is amazing. When I started Strongman, there was nowhere that had any information about the sport. We just literally had to learn as we go, and it's nice to be in a position now where I can give that back, you know, what I didn't get, unfortunately, because the sport was so young at the time. I'd always try and help the, the young British guys that are up and coming, and if I can give them any little bits of advice to help them go even further and maybe even surpass what I achieved, you know, if I can help them go on and win World's Strongest Man, you know, that's more important to me now than, than actually winning shows. It's changed me as a person. I'm extremely introvert, shy, and it has helped me grow more confident in that way. So it's had a really positive impact on my life. At the point I'm at now, I take every year as it comes. And all the time I'm still able to push myself in the gym, get a lot of enjoyment out of it, still get that satisfaction from competing, then I'll continue to do it. And all the time my body's allowing me to do that, it's sort of why not?